Hello, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be explaining you the differences between the EC2 instance connect endpoint and whether we can utilize the EC2 instance that is in the private subnet using the Bastion host and what are the benefits, pros and cons, just a comparison between both of them. So let's start with the EC2 instance connect endpoint. So for this, I have created a separate video already. So I will put in the description of this, I will put the link of the video in the description of this video. So you can just uh, go through the hands-on for the EC2 instance connect endpoint, how we can utilize that. So without uh, attaching a public IP to the EC2 instance, so we can just have a private IP and we can just utilize the EC2 instance. So just have a look into the video. So let's start with the EC2 instance connect endpoint. So basically it's a setup for in our VPC. So it acts as a gateway for secure SSH or RDP access to the private instances in the public in the private subject. So in order to set up, first of all, we need to create an endpoint in our VPC. So it is basically the same subnet as your as our the target instances. So along with that, we need to ensure that the security groups have access to the EC2 instance connect endpoint and as well as the private instance. So all these things like uh, we can manage through the console or through the CLI, or we can have an API in order to connect, uh, initiate the connections using the EC2 instance connect. So in the interface, like in the console, you can see under the EC2 instance, there is another option along with the EC2 instance connect, there is an EC2 instance connect endpoint. So, but we need to create an endpoint first, then only we can utilize this. So we can initialize the connection and we can utilize those. Uh, endpoint in order to access the instant EC2 instance that is there in the private subnet. So we need not to have a, like a best in host or something in order to access the EC2 instance. So uh, various pros and cons are there. So we need not to have a bastion or a VPN. It's a very simple setup with no additional instance to be maintained or patching or uh, security and all those things we need to implement, nothing to be implemented. So it uses the temporary SSH keys and it enhances the security work with the IAM permissions to control access. So this is quite important. So it works with the IAM permissions that has been given in order to control the access. So again, I'm telling, have a look into the video, just go to the hands-on, like how we can have an EC2 instance connect endpoint and how we are embedding with like, either you can have it during the launch of an EC2 instance, so you can add the endpoint, or we can have later on also, we can install the package and we can utilize it. So both options are available. So Con supported only a specific OS type, Amazon Linux 2, Linux 3, Ubuntu 16.0 above versions, and require EC2 instance connect to be configured on the instance if, you, if it is already uh, existing EC2 instance. So in that, like if it is not there, if the endpoint is not being added, we need to make it sure we install the package and we can add the endpoint to that particular EC2 instance in order to access it. So these are the only limitations, two limitations, but still better than maintaining a Bastion host that we need to maintain separately and we need to make sure there is uh, no unwanted access to it. It's basically like uh, we need to maintain a separate server, EC2 instance, in the public subnet in order to get access to the instance that is there in the private sub. Okay, moving on to the Bastion host. So it's the instance with a public IP. So whatever the SSH connections that we'll be having to the private instance are made through the Bastion host. So it acts as a jump server. So basically we create an EC2 instance in the public subnet that's called as a Bastion host. So we will allow the inbound SSH access to the Bastion host from the trusted IPs, then we can configure the security groups. Then we can have the SSH agent forwarding in order to connect from the Bastion to the private instance. So basically first we SSH to the Bastion host and from the Bastion host, we are doing SSH to the instance that is there in the private subnet. Now in this flow, like various pros and cons are there. So access to the instance in a private subnet with, with no public IP that is there, so we have the pros over here, but the same thing is being provided by the EC2 instance connect endpoint. So we can support a broader range of operating systems and configurations 
as it is no more depending upon like limited number of OS as in case of EC2 instance connect endpoint. So it also provides the additional layer of security by using a control entry point, the bastion host, or we can like say like, uh, so like we are only restricting those particular IPs to access that particular instance. So cons, more complex to set up as well as it's a, like a burden to maintain those bastion hosts and it requires additional security configuration to limit the access to the bastion host as well as we have to maintain the overhead like patching, scaling. So those things are not there in EC2 instance endpoint. So, but the only thing that we have to make sure the IAM permissions that we are giving as for the access. So just a comparison between both, and depending upon these features, access flow, we can have a direct SSH from a console or a CLI or through instance connect, but so this is through the, the best in host only. Public access, no public IP required for the target instance at all. But for the best in host, we need a public IP in the public subnet. And complexity, it is very simple. Just we create an endpoint and we can add it while launching the ICT instance. So require setting up, managing access, security, then inbound access, these things we need to set up for the best in host. Temporary keys, so in the EC2 instance connect endpoint, we use the temporary key, one-time SSH keys. So it relies on static SSH keys or RDP credentials in order to access. Maintenance, it's very minimal as it is managed by the AWS. And for this bastion, we need to manage the patching, monitoring, scaling, everything. So this endpoint is simple, secure, and frequent access to instances in the private subnet, we can get it. But this one, Bastion host, it's a like a persistent access needs for various OS types or legacy setups are there for that if we need, in which we cannot have those EC2 instance connect endpoint packages being installed. So we can still, we need to be dependent upon the Bastion host. Quick uh, summary of both of them. So EC2 instance connect endpoint is basically idle. If we need a low maintenance, secure and straightforward way to connect to our AC2 instances that are there in the private subnet without requiring any Bastion host. So it is suited for AWS native environments and instances with the AC2 instance connect support. But in case of Bastion host, if you have a mixed environment, then definitely we need to uh, connect with a wider range of OS and various network configurations. So that might not be supported by EC2 instance connect endpoint. So we need some more uh, like management and security controls, then definitely we can. It depends upon and uh, like organization to organization, how much they are like um, relying, like uh, how much uh, level of security they want to implement, what kind of network architecture they are having, and what's the access frequency. So depending upon that, you can choose. But uh, still, uh, I will go ahead with like these two instance connect endpoint as there is a no. Uh, burden of keeping these uh, a separate bastion host in the public subnet, as well as like the cost of running those bastion hosts. Okay, so that's all. Uh, quick comparison between EC2 instance connect endpoint and the bastion host. So you can still have your own depending upon your uh, organization needs and requirements or whatever the uh, policies they are having. But um, you can give a try to EC2 instance connect endpoint. I will put the link of the video in the description of this video go have a look into it do a hands on it and you will feel the difference between both of them how we can utilize this endpoint without running a bastion separately so i hope you get a clear picture a clear comparison between both the uh, like endpoint and the bastion host so that's all thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe to my channel